Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here. Square root of 8 minus 4 times square root of 2 plus 1 plus square root of 9 minus 12 to times square root of 2 plus 8, okay? And we need to solve this problem without using a calculator. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing that we notice that we have in this problem is that we have these big square roots, right? So what we want to do is get rid of them, right, logically. But how do we get rid of a square root? Well, it would be easy to get rid of a square root if the inside value would just be some value squared. Because then if you square root that value that's being squared, they just cancel each other out, okay? So let's see if we can get the inside of the square root, so th the inside here, into a some number squared so we can cancel out. So what is the inside? The inside is 8 minus 4 times square root of 2 plus 1. And we want to get this into a form that is, has, that is squaring the whole thing. So what comes to mind to me is that they are specific formulas. For example, the second binomial formula where we would have our equation be written as a minus b squared, which would be good. And to get to this a minus b squared, we need to have our equation written as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, this means that if we can get this equation into this form, so that means that the first term would be a specific number squared for our a. The third term would also be squared for our b. And then our middle term would have corresponding a and b. That means that we can rewrite it into a minus b squared. So let's go ahead and try to get to this, put it into practice. So first thing that we see is that where there is the a squared here, okay? So this a squared term here, we have already written this written, broken up into three terms. So this is already convenient. So let's just do our a for our eight. So unfortunately for us, eight is not a perfect square root, okay? So that's not as easy to do. However, whenever you have a value like this, if you want to write it with a square root, because we want to write it with a square root here, right? You can just write the square root of that value and square it, okay? So now we have this written in the form as something squared, as you can see here. So this means our a for the moment is square root of 8. Now our next value, 4, square root of 2. So here we have a 2 value here, and if we can break up 4 into 2, so then we can break this up into 2 times 2, and then still square root of 2. And then plus 1 is a square root, so plus 1 squared. Okay, so now we got this. However, notice how in the middle here, 2ab, we need to have our a and b values here. And here, our a value is square root of 8, and this is nowhere to be found here. So we need to do a little changing up, okay? So how can we change this up? Well, let's, let's take this square root of 8. So square root of 8, right? Can we rewrite it? The answer is yes, we can, because whenever you have a square value like this, what you can do is you can multiply or you can find factors in the inside. So 8 is equal to square root of 4 times, or 8 is equal to 4 times 2, right? So since 8 is equal to 4 times 2, this means that we can break this up into square root of 4 times square root of 2. And square root of 4 is a perfect square. It's 2 times square root of 2. So the square root of 8 can actually be written as our value here of 2 times square root of 2. Okay? So now, if we were to look here, let me make some space. So now if we were to look here, we have our a squared. So we have our a value with the square. Here we have our 2. 
So our two matches here times our a, so our a value, remember, is 2 square root of 2, same here. That's matching. And our b value would just be 1, right? So 1, obviously, can also just be invisible, right? So it's here, it exists. We acknowledge its, its existence. And then our final value, b squared, we have here. Okay, so this means we have set this up perfectly to be written in to the second binomial formula into the form a minus b squared. So we just got to write our a value. What is our a value? Our a value is 2 square root of 2, right? It's the red here. And then our b value is simply 1. Okay? And this is, to go with the second binomial formula, this is all squared, okay? So now we have rewritten the inside of the first root square root into a value that has a square root. So that's perfect. Now we just got to do the same with the next. Okay, so we got our first value found, or the first. So now what we have to do is just do the same thing for the second term, okay? So the inside for the second term is 9 minus 12 square root of 2 plus 8. And we want to get this form. So first we want to write this form into here, or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so that we can eventually get it into this a minus b squared form so this so we have a square value so that can cancel out with the square root right so let's look so first our a value can keep it here we can so 9 is a perfect square lucky for us right so it's simply just 3 squared 3 squared minus so here 12 can be rewritten to have a 2 inside of it, right? It would just be 2 times 6 times square root of 2, right? Let's not forget the square root of 2 here. So I just rewrote this 12 to have the 2 since the 2 is present here. And then 8. So lucky for us, we already did 8, right? Do you remember what it was? Well, it was 2 square root of 2. It was 2 square root of 2. Okay, so now let's see here. So we have our corresponding A here. Our corresponding, oh, sorry, I forgot actually to write 2 squared of 2 squared, right? Because that's what 8 is squared. So 2 squared of squared. So we have our corresponding B value in 2 squared of 2. And now let's see if, so we have our 2 here, that corresponds, and now our a, our a times b is equal to 6 square root of 2. So if we multiply our a value, 3 times 2 times square root of 2, then we will get 6 square root of 2. So these values are correct, okay? So they are matching, so now what we can do is we can simply just write this into the second binomial formula, so a minus b squared, okay? So what is our a value? Our a value is 3 minus our b value is 2 square root of 2. Okay, and this is also squared. And now we have found the second, the bottom of the second term, or like the inside square root for the second term with a square into it, okay? So let's go ahead and use that. Okay, so now we have rewritten these two values into values that have a square root. And now here comes the fun part. We simply just cancel out the square roots with one another. So we just have, or not cancel out the square roots with another, but cancel out the square roots with the corresponding squares, right? With the corresponding exponents. So now we just simply have 2 square root of 2 minus 1 plus 3 minus 2 square root of 2. Okay? And now, simple algebra. So 2 square root of 2 and negative 2 or minus 2 square root of 2 cancel out to make 0. So that leaves us with one, negative 1 plus 3. And that is equal to our final answer of 2. Okay, so that is our final answer. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.